inspiration is all around us. And one of the things that happened on my birthday a few days ago is that my wife bought me a new Apple Watch 3. And one of the things I like about it is the fact that it has this one awesome application called Breathe. As you can see here, the application is very simple. The idea is to get people to breathe, so inhale and exhale, so that they can calm down and essentially uh, start having good breathing habits, right? Because it's important to breathe in and out, inhale and exhale for anxiety or stress and so forth. So that's one of the things that I like about this app. Now, this may seem very trivial in the sense that, well, we all know how to breathe, but actually we don't know how to breathe well, right? So when we, often when we are tense or stressed out, we tend to breathe in a way that it doesn't really help to calm us down and uh, get enough oxygen. But in any case, <laughs> uh, I just thought maybe it would be a good idea for us to learn how to create this simple application, the Android platform. So the idea here is to allow users to start a session so they can tap and they can start breathing in and out with a little guide. As you can see here, there's this nice animation that we're going to emulate and we're going to be able to save the breeds that we've done and the time and how many minutes we've done throughout that day okay wanted to create this one because i want to show you how i sometimes find inspiration on other applications on different platforms um, that i can then transfer them into android so it's a good exercise if anything and obviously the idea is not mine as i explained is apples so Whatever you do, try not to put your name on this and and try to sell it because that's not ethical and you can get in trouble. This is just for us to learn how to mimic certain apps in the market. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and start putting things together here. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is to create a new project. I have this old one running. Let me go say new, new project. Let's call this gonna call this keep breathing or let's call this breathe such next that's all good next empty it's fine next and finish you know, in a few seconds here we should have it all working all right, so now we have our project ready for us to start working on it. Okay, so I'm going to go and add a few resources that we need. The first one inside of our drawable here, I already have found it, uh, is going to be the image that we are going to be animating. I'm going to find it real quick and paste it in there. And there it is. So this is indeed the image that we are going to be used to animate and mimic the breathe app by apple okay very cool and of course you will have all these images of course and of course you will have all of these assets all of these images for you to work with all right let's go ahead to our activity main here xml let's get rid of this and one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to create a black background so let's go to our values let's go to colors and at the top here, click on one of these square buttons there, square icons, and we're going to go and find a dark background. Maybe that would work. There we go. I'm going to use the next one as well to be dark. Okay, and for our color accent, we're going to leave as it is. I'm going to give it a quick run here so we can take a look. All right, so there it is. We have our app, but we still have this white background. We're gonna change it right now because I want everything to be black. The other thing I wanna be able to do is I need to get rid of this app bar at the top here. For that, we can go to our styles and at the top for our app theme, we are gonna change this from dark action bar to no action bar as such. And while we're here, I'm going, and then I'm gonna go back to activity main here. Let's give it a background. I'm gonna say background. Android, in fact, right, let's say Android. And I'm going to say color since we have that primary color like that. Look at that. Now 
now it's dark. Save this, give it a run. We should have, if all goes well, there we go, a dark, there we go. Okay, it's looking good, not very eventful, but at least <laughs> at least we have it working. Okay, let's go now and start putting together the user interface. So what I'm gonna do is at the top here, we're gonna have a few text views and we're gonna have a big text view here, which will uh, have one minute text. So the idea of this app is to let users breathe for one minute, okay? So obviously we're not going to mimic everything about this app, but we are going to mimic the most important features, right? Okay, all right, let's go ahead and create our user interface here. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this constraint. I want this to be relative layout, relative layout as such. And while I'm here, let me go to design. Maybe we can, so that we can drag and drop a few things. The first thing I'm gonna put is an image view, right? Put right there in the middle. And we're gonna get that breathing or breathe IMG that we just added earlier. There we go, so it's right there in the middle. I'm gonna change the width actually and height. That way it's actually a number as opposed to, let me see here. So I'm gonna say 190 dp. Okay, let's go to text. I'm gonna go, oops. For the width, I'm gonna say 190 dp, and height also 190 dp. So it's not too big, not too small. That looks good, it's in the middle. And the next thing, let's go back to design here. Oh, what I'm gonna do is, a bit bigger. All right, so at the top here, I'm gonna put a few text views. So let's go and find text views. Let's see, text, there we go. And put it right there. Uh, this text view here, I'm going to call this, so that's the first text view. Let's change the color because I want this to have a different color. I'm going to say color, and I want the color accent. There we go. So it's text view. I'm going to change the text to say, for now, uh, let's give an ID. I'm going to say breaths, say breath, taken, txt. T. Good. Uh, let's give us something. I'm going to say seven breaths. And of course, all of this information will be dynamically uh, created, but for now, we're just going to add something so we have a visual representation of what's going on. Let's keep going here. I'm going to add another text view it's right below there. And this one I'm going to call. This one is going to have a text that says, last at, I'm going to just say 11.45 p.m. Okay, again, you notice this is going to give the information. This is going to hold, this is going, this text view is going to hold the last breath, last breathing exercise that you have done. Okay, let's give it a, an ID. Say last breath txt. Of course, we're gonna color, give it the same color. All right, that's looking good. And let's add another text view here. This is one that's also gonna have the same color. We know this and the ID. I'm going to say today minutes txt. It will show the total minutes that you have used the app today. So the total amount of time that you have done the breathing exercises. All right, so let's change this text to say four minutes today. Okay, looking real good. I'm gonna put another text here. This is going to be the amount of minutes required each session. So, 
and since this is not going to be changed, I'm just going to say one minute txt, and the text is just going to be one min as such. In fact, I want this to be caps like that. Okay, of course, the color also has to be the same. And while I'm here, I'm going to change the size to probably maybe bigger. Let's see, 30. There we go. Very nice. Let's save these and give a quick run and see magic happening. If all goes well, of course. And voila. It's looking really good. Now, you notice these are a little bit small. Let's make this text a little bit bigger. We can definitely actually select all of them and say we want this to be about 18. Let's see if that's actually a good number. Okay, I like that. That looks really good. Very nice. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, let's put a button at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and pull the button. Oh, there it is at the top. Let's going to pull it, put it down here. And I want it to actually span. There we go. And what I'm going to do, I want this to be called, let's give a, an ID. I'm going to say start button. As such, and I want this to be match parent because I want this to be all the way to the right. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And let's give a color. In fact, I want this background color as such. Let's find color. I'm going to give our accent color. There we go. And for the text color, I'm going to make it white. Okay. And let's give, of course, click a button here. Um, the text, I want to change this to say start and such. Okay. Save and give it a run. There we go. Voila. That looks really good. All right. So our app here, user interface, is pretty much done. There's one more thing we need to do, but that will be left for the next video, the next lecture. Perfect. So I'll see you in the next video.